I am going to show you how to paint a generic cavern with stalactites and stalagmites from the 1980s. I used to work at a store and I used to buy my paints back then. And look at this. It was $2.29 for a Windsor & Newton. Prices have gone up for sure. I think it costs like $8 now. Now this is a 5x7 canvas board. I'm going to have light coming from the right. So this left side is going to be darker. I wet my brush with a little bit of water. Remove some of the water on my t-shirt. And go into uh, burnt umber and burnt sienna. I hope this canvas won't fall off. It's already wiggling. Oops. Very sloppily just paint the whole canvas. Uh, not the whole canvas, but this part of the canvas. Go with Kevin Orange and Burnt Sienna to get this color. And this I'm going to go with Naples Yellow. I haven't cleaned my brush at all, just so you know. I'm just going through these colors, these rock colors. and. Now I'm going in this direction because there's going to be a ground. That's something you should think about because the paint's still wet and you want some brush strokes going in this direction now. Now that the painting has dried, I'm going to uh, start to draw in the details of the cavern with burnt umber and I'm going to water that down so I can draw with it. And I used to these brush strokes that I put there earlier. I use that. I, I go here and outline those things. This is where we get to use our imagination to create this cavern. There we go. Now I'm going to work on the ground. And again, I'm using what I have, those brush marks already there, already there. And just put some line work in there. Like I said, just start to use your imagination and have fun with this stuff. And this, like I said, this is probably like a a rock or boulder that's in the ground that tapers into the ground like that. And I'm going to establish some lighting, so I'm going to go ahead and start to darken parts of the cave. And I'm going to have leave little highlights there. Uh, this line that I drew there, I want to soften that line up by adding more, more shadow. Now that it's dry, I'm going to uh, sort of continue adding more colors to this. This time I'm going to um, Add yellow ochre. And the reason I'm using this color is just to give it some give this some variation. It's not all sort of orange looking.
It almost looks like uh, ocean waves, you know, this information. Some areas that are brighter here. I'm just I'm just putting another coat for the same color. Now I'm going to have a mixture of yellow ochre, permanent violet, and brilliant blue. And I'm going to try to uh, put some bounce light over here. Be a little lighter here. Like the cool, cool lights a little stronger over here. I'm gonna put some burnt sienna into this. Burnt sienna is a bit transparent already, so let's see what this does. Green, blend that away with a finger. Just to give the cave a little variety of colors on the ground. Now to um, put some bright colors over here. Let's see what this does. I'm gonna mix Naples yellow and yellow ochre. Look at some of the highlights. The highlights here that are catching that light. Then I'm looking at it, I want to see some darker values here. For that, I'm gonna go with um, and violet. See what that gives me. Put in the final. There we have a cavern. Well, I hope you learned some things uh, in terms of adding colors and mixing colors and uh, trying to make things sort of random. Even those overall orange, red, sort of yellow, there's purples, there's blues, and there's greens in there to make your scene a little more interesting and not so boring. I hope you like this video and stay tuned for my next one.